Hi everyone, it's Akea. Time to finish box two, the opening for box two. I'm hoping to get it done in this video, but I still have all these left in box one. I mean box two to do. So I'm hoping to get it. I hope to get it all done. I um, talked to Nate. Friday about that snow-capped island this card he told me that I'm um, not re he wasn't really interested unless I had a bulk amount of uh, to um, to trade into him and I only had one so I'll still check with Nate on Friday. I mean, I will check with Tim on fr this Friday, um, August 5th. Sorry, all this talking makes me thirsty. Okay. Let's get to the rest of the box. Um, two. I have... An infectious host, a vengeful dead. It is from the Scrooge set. I only know the um, that because um, Bladewing the Risen, which is one of my cards in my commander deck, happens to be from the Scrooge set, and the symbols are the same. Next is Disturbed Burial. I also know that's from the Tempest set, um, because I know that the lightning bolt, the thundercloud here symbol means that it's from the Tempest set. I have two of these. Next, I have an infectious whore. Freaky looking thing. Next, I have two more infectious hosts. Followed by a venge another vengeful dead, again from the Scrooge set. Next, I have another infectious horror. Still freaky. Next, I have a zombie Goliath. It's from Magic, the Magic Core set 2012. Next, I have another Vengeful Dead, also again from the Scrooge set, followed by another Infectious Horror. Next, I have a skin renderer. Render? Mm, followed by a... Grave, um, grave purge. Next, I have two... Disfigure, they are from the regular Zendikar set, only saying the ones I happen to know off the top of my head from the symbols. Next, I have a Enfeeblement, also from the, another one from the Tempest set. Next, I have another Disfigure from the regular Zendikar set. Next, I have... A dead weight. If I'm right, um, that symbol means it's from the regular Innistrad set. I'm not too sure though. Next, I have a wretched banquet. Followed by victim of night.
And next I have a dead weight. Next I have Blair of Hers Hersey. Oh, that's a third from the Thero Theros set. I happen to recognize the symbol for Theros. Um, next is a Foot Bottom Feast. Followed by Pitfall Trap. It is from the regular Zendikar, if I'm right on the symbol, yeah. Next, I have Recovery. It is from the tenth, it's a 10th edition card. Oh, actually, I don't have one Recovery. I have two of them, both from the 10th edition. Next, I have a Rotting Fen Snake. Freaky looking snake. Next, I have another Infectious Host. Next, I have a Soul, soul Cage Fiend. That's Abyssin Restored. Um, next, I have a Coercion, also from the Tempest set. And next, I have a, another Skull of Render. Followed by a Disturbed Burial from the Tempest set. <laughs> Next, I have another Vengeful Dead from the Scrooge set. Next is Arbiter Ghoul. Next, I have, actually, I have two Arbiter Ghouls. I happen to be looking ahead and notice that I had two of those. Next, I have <clears throat> two Polluted Dead from the Evanston Restored. Next, I have an infectious whore, another infectious whore. <laughs> Ryan played this in his um, CDC deck. And everyone, well, I most, everyone hated it. It's called Fleshbag Marauder. We hated it because when Flush. Its ability is when Fleshbag Marauder comes into play, each player sacrifices a creature. Next, I have a foot bottom, another foot bottom feast. Followed by a bog, bog raiders. Next, I have the Zektar Shrine Expedition. It is from the regular Zendikar set. Very nice fire. Mountain fire type card, whatever you want to call it. Being that I'm a red-black player, it looks interesting. Next, I have Spire Barrage.
And followed by a card I already have. Followed by two copies of a card I already have in my collection. Lava X. Next, I have a Vol Shock Berserker. Another mountain card, a fire type card. Followed by Cinder Wall. Next, I have a Shattered Perception. Yeah, I was looking, reading what it says. This card, all car the cards in your hand, then draw that many cards. And it also has Flashback, which means you, uh, that Flashback costs us six, five and a red. You may cast this from your graveyard, or its Flashback costs. And then exile it. Next, I have two blood crazed goblins, followed by a goblin blue goblin balloon brigade. Next, I have a dragon mantle. When it's an enchant, it's an enchantment aura, um, enchant creature. When dragon mantle enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchant creature and enchant creature has a mountain. This creature gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Nice. Next, I have a Sarah Advocate. It is very nice. Next, I have Breaching Hippocamp. Next, I have Plated Geopede. Nice fire type. Next, I have a um, Fleeting Distraction. Ooh. Next, I have two cards that are of Jace, but they are not the Planeswalker Jace. They are actually Jace's eras Eraser. It's whenever you draw a card... You may have a target player put the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Next, I have Mur, M-Y-R, Mind Servant. If I'm right, that's from the Medora set. Next, I have Heap Doll, and followed by Pilla Pala, Pilly Pally Pala. Again, I am sorry if I'm mispronouncing these cards. I am, let's see, November, December. I'm only nine months in playing this now, going on ten, since October 24th of 2015. Um, next I have Chainbreaker, followed by Wing Rattle Scarecrow, I pulled that one earlier, and followed by another. Pilla, Pala, Pala. Next, I have a scrap basket. Followed by a watch wing scarecrow. Freaky looking artwork. Next, 
is a shell skeleton followed by prophetic prism. Pulled that also earlier in this box. But of course I'm, I did not go through and put the same cards together. Next is um, Demir, Demir Kirun. And another, next is another heap doll. Now this is freaky looking. I have two blaze thorn scarecrows. It says that blaze thorn scarecrow has haste as long as you control a red creature. Blaze Blaze Thorn Scarecrow has Wither as long as you control a green creature. It deals damage to creatures in the form of minus one, minus one counters. Next, I have another Chainbreaker. Next, I have another Thorn Watch Scarecrow. Followed by, yep, another Blaze Thorn Scarecrow. Followed by another Pilla Pala. Next is a Fang Skullkin. Followed by another Watchwing Scarecrow. And another Pilla Pala. Next I have Lock Jaw Snapper. Followed by a Tatter Kite. That's amazing. That's good. Fly, it has, it's flying and t tatter kite can't have counters placed on it. So like if my opponent put one, put minus one, minus one counters on it. Sorry. Uh, you can't have them put on. Next I have a wicker war crawler. Followed by another Watchwing Scarecrow. Next is a Rattle Blaze Scarecrow. Man, a lot of Scarecrows in this. Followed by, next is Antler Skulkin. And another, pil two more Pilipalas. Next, I have a scrap, another scrap basket. Next, I have a hoof. I have, um, actually two. Hoof, hoof skulkin. Next, I have two etched oracles, oracle cards. And I, next I have Sun Touched Mirror. And a Wizard Replica is next. Followed by a Mar, um, two Marble Diamonds. Marble Diamond. Next I have a, a two, ah! I have three elsewhere flask. If you're wondering what I'm where what I'm doing is I'm setting the cards after I put them on and make a nice pile and with the others, 
I'm putting them in with the other ones I've already open, put vid, done the video of. Next, I have another Kraken's Eye. Freaky. Next, I have a Pentad Prism. Followed by Crack Claw Ironworks. Ah, I've seen this card before. I actually bought it from the one from Tim. Divination. It was before I decided to do a red-black deck, I was looking at the blue cards. Uh, actually, I have a total of three divinations. Two are from Corset Magic 2013. And I don't know what, um, I don't know what this set is. This one's the set from. The 2013 one is the one I bought from Tim. I have a like it from Tim, but that's not the one. Next, <laughs> some say that they lost this when they are trying to explain something. They say they lost their train of thought, which train of thought is what that card is. Oh, God. More islands. I have, as I said, more islands. Whew. That looks like more like an island from the Caribbean. All right. Next, we, I have a battered golem. And Guardian, next is Guardians of Melitus. Next I have two Composite Golem. Next I have a Spear, Spire Golem. Spear, Spire. Followed by Clock of Omens. Next, I have an Umbral Mantle, followed by Healer's Headdress. Pretty looking thing. I'd wear it. <laughs> if it was real, I'd wear it. Next, I have a Heliophile. Next, I have a Skullet Cage. Somewhat reminds me of Skull Clamp that I've seen some of my fellow EDH players use. Next, I have an Opaline Bracers, followed by another Healer's Headdress. Followed by another heliophile. And next I have two Tenza Goto Small. Next I have a obelisk of Gris Grixix. G R I. X I S. Next, I have another antler, antlers, antler, antler skullkin. Looks like a skeleton elk. Next, I have another chain breaker. Ah. I actually pulled this from a, an, a later version of this during draft. It's Moon Glove Extract. Next, I have a Marble Chalice. Nah, it's okay. You tap it and you gain one life. 
And it is a um, artifact. Gaining one life is okay. Is so so. And depending on how how high or how low your life total is. Next, I have another opaline bracers. Uh, 